The devastating effects of climate change being experienced by Zambia and other countries in the world call for innovation and collaboration among stakeholders to address the situation. And electricity generation at Kafir Gorge Power Station has dropped to 600 megawatts from the installed capacity of 990 megawatts. Station Chief Engineer Operations, Willard Musipa, disclosed this during a tour of the power station by information and media payment sector, the Tawakawana and the other stakeholders yesterday. When we look at the rain season, the drought that we've had, we then look at how much water is in the reservoir. And then from there, our hydrology department is able to do calculations and say if you generate at this level, you are able to reach the end of the year. So right now, much as this plant is able to give us up to 900, 990 megawatts, right now, how much are we doing? 600. Since its establishment in 1989, the Kafir Gorge Regional Training Center has remained a key stakeholder in the energy sector, thereby providing training which has benefited many countries in the region. However, in view of challenges brought about by climate change, the training center has since widened its training portfolio beyond hydropower. Much of this training has been focused in uh, the energy space and most importantly now we have also moved into other forms of uh, energy interventions, renewable energy due to climate change options. And government has commended the training center for the skills development it has continued to provide for Zambia and other countries in the region. If the country is to achieve its development goals, human capital development should be at the heart of these efforts. As a country, we are privileged to host a center of excellence as recognized by TEVET, SADIC, and APUA, and we urge all of you to utilize this training facility in your quest to improve the performance of your employees. Government has demonstrated commitment to skills development by consistently providing funds to TEVET to invest in relevant workforce development in collaboration with industry. Meanwhile, Center for Sustainable Democrats and Governance Executive Director Carol and Katotowe has urged the civil society and other stakeholders to take advantage of the open door policy government has. If we are to develop this nation and to be specific the energy sector, we need to accept but also harness the idea of collaboration and partnership as has been expressed here between our two institutions that may be night and day in terms of what we do. And Chikangata Member of Parliament, Jacqueline Sabao, has aged the Kafue Gorge Regional Training Center to consider youth in her constituency. Most of the people who are employed here, they don't come from Chikangata. But I beg through your office director that at least a special and skilled uh, opportunities give the first opportunity to the young people of Chikangata. Biri Kazoka, ZNBC News, Kafue Gorge, Chikangata District.